Todo! Welcome to Rodo Sweeties Black Metal or Nature Oriented. Can we call it Green Metal Review? Now, this is a brand new band that most of you won't have a clue about because it's just going to be released on 4th of October, October 2019, that is tomorrow. So, this one is called Ilder or Elter, uh, with their album Nur da Beda, or like this. Oh god, I don't know how to say Swedish, so forgive me. But first of all, let's take a look, I'll briefly talk you into this release, and it's nicely removed by the mic, with its nice plastic sound. So, after unboxing, we will find plain old school right here, and the track list on the backside of this album. Um, this is actually a one-man band, and now it gets more interesting and curious because this is that's just just nobody. It's just not some random guy from uh, Swedish scene to enter the stage, but the guy from Armageddon. Now it was a two-man band basically, and this Grave Helder or just Gravi, like it used to be, he is the main man of the band, or basically the man of the band. Uh, pay attention, some uh, traditional Swedish clothing, not your average black metal um, t-shirt there, with some painting on face. So, we have these lyrics in Swedish, and the reason is that this is very much like Swedish black metal, uh, the way it is kind of a combining these nature elements to, to kind of a traditional 1990s black metal. Now, the main guy is, or used to be still active, more or less, I don't know what the state is, but the band known as Armageddon, which was already featured earlier with the classic review of their debut album, and the later on it will be featuring their another reissue. So Armageddon is one of those bands this uh, Grab has been active with, also a Swedish folk rock mm, kind of a hybrid called Lundom and uh, Leek, uh, one of those Swedish bands, actually there are two Leek named bands, one of dead metal and one of black metal, and the black metal one is an uh, older one, and now this Grab is part of that lineup as well. So man of very many active and not so active bands, lots of history with this guy also, and uh, when I was reading the kind of a promo information about this album, this is kind of like a, a continuation, a mental or a spiritual continuation to Lundom with its kind of a nature theme thing. And as you can see, this is very much of a Swedish nature, this bonfire in the middle of a forest. And you can actually hear that kind of a nature feeling with this album because um, the sound of what this album is basically kind of a build on, the guitar sound, it's very kind of airy. Uh, it, it's kind of organic, it's not too, uh, it's kind of a raw and unpolished in many ways, which is good when we're talking about this kind of lo-fi black metal, but it's also more in the terms of being kind of uh, not too raw, it's not, it's not like this one goes to 11, this is more like, uh, think of like early Ulver, the music is not exactly the same, it's, this is definitely more Swedish feeling, but the kind of uh, organic feeling is right there, and it fits this album right perfect way. And um, also the raspy kind of a black metal vocals are very, very nice. They are totally, you know, fitting the music here. So everything is kind of a build upon with the right uh, pieces, elements, which whatever you want to call it. And even though this is like some 52 minutes and then some seconds, um, it doesn't get really boring. The only kind of a minus side, if I want to rant a little bit, is the kind of a last track, which is just basically like shamanistic drumming. And to be honest, I don't know why it's that lengthy, because there are no vocals, there's not much happening anyway. So it's like kind of like a long outro, but it's not going to ruin the album. On the contrary, it fits there nicely, but it's one of the reasons why this album maybe feels a tad bit too lengthy. However, I still want to underline the fact, this is a fact, that this is one of the better albums 
of uh, 2019 when it comes to black metal. I would say this is of the later half of this year. This is definitely one of the better albums overall. So I totally urge you to check out. Uh, during the time of this recording, this video on Monday, there was only a couple of tracks available on Bandcamp, but I would guess so that the whole album will be there eventually. So even if not, when this review comes out, go check out later and at least go with those samples so you get the general feeling what this album is all about. I think really, really great album with some really great tunes and not just your average modern day black metal bullshit, but kind of like back to basics and still having its own unique sound. So there you have it, Elder. We totally uh, hope that this band will be known for more. These kind of good bands totally deserve it. Thank you for your attention. Have fun with listening to this album. Take care.